Hey guys, what's going on? So season two is obviously coming up February 15th. It's probably, in my opinion, the most important update to solidify if this game is going to make it throughout the two years and be successful throughout those two years. Obviously, as we all know, at a first glance, this game is very successful in the short term in the past couple months. And honestly, just the month of November and October, it was very successful. It's definitely fallen off since. And that's another reason why this update could prove to be the most important update for all of this whole game's life cycle. Just because this is either going to bring back a ton of people and revive this game. Well, not revive. Obviously, there's still hundreds of thousands of players, maybe even millions playing this game. It's just in terms of YouTube, TikTok, all social medias, and even the player counts themselves, it has fallen off quite a large spectrum. For this Season 2 update to be successful, however, they really need to listen and hone in on what the community wants and what's going to help bring the players back. A lot of the issues that the community has is philosophies that they decided to change in the game. So just hearing that, it's not very much fundamental issues. Obviously, there is little issues with the fundamentals of this game. The perk system is honestly garbage, and there's a couple other things, but it's not the end of the world. The perk system, while it's not authentically what it's supposed to be as a perk system in a normal Call of Duty, it, it does the job, I guess. It's all right. Honestly, there's a lot of things that I used to hate about the fundamentals, the movement I was really not a fan of. Some of the ADS changes they did, but I've gotten realistically used to it. And I think we all have to a degree. Obviously, we'd want updates to ADS and how ADS works in this game with jump shotting and other things like that. But overall, man, the fundamentals have grown on me overall. The perk system's eh, it's all right. Movement's eh, it's all right. And the ADS changes and other little nitpicks are all just the signs of a bigger issue that can be fixed easily if they listen to the community. And that's another reason why this is going to be the biggest, most important update for this game. And the deciding factor of if it realistically fails long term or not. And mainly I'm saying this about multiplayer because multiplayer is in a horrible state. Same with Warzone though. So nothing's really looking positive for Call of Duty right now. Obviously again though, this game was a success. There's no denying that. It has made them so much profit. It's actually disgusting. It makes me sick. If we get the right changes at the right time in the Season 2 update. And we don't have to wait much longer for these easy issues to be solved simply. And just get them out of the way and enhance other parts of the game that need enhancing instead of reverting things back to what they used to be in previous games. I could definitely see this game having another uprise like it did right in the beginning. And same with another blow up, just like Modern Warfare 2019 had. If they do all these changes correctly to all game modes, not just multiplayer, not just DMC, not just Warzone, not anything. Not anything specifically. It needs to be all in the game as one, not as separate little pieces. You fix one piece... You don't fix all of them, so just fix all of them, and we'll have an amazing game on our hands that will definitely sustain us in the long term, and that's what we need. We need something that'll last. We need new content, new upbringing in the maps. The maps are really mid in this game, I'm not going to lie. We need better maps and uprising like we used to have. Every Call of Duty, we'd get better, better maps. We need that with this game. Again, however, like I've said in a couple previous videos, I definitely would not want you guys to bring your hopes up at all and expect something that's just not realistic or that's not going to happen. I think for the time being, we just got to hope that we get something decent and not something that's going to be out of this world as everybody's just going to complain like they always do if it's not up to their standards. And that's always the issue with the community in Call of Duty. We're always very like, we need the best of the best. This is the best of the best companies and studios, but we don't really ever get the best, which is obviously an issue and we shouldn't take that. But it's just reality, and we can't change that as of now. They won't listen. They don't really care that much, I don't think. So we just got to hope for something good. Now, this may sound hypocritical, and it probably is. However, I'm just expecting more in Season 2. Obviously, in Season 1, we were kind of in a drought. And, like, we lacked just basic content that should have been released. Because they've got so many maps in the back, and they've just kept them. Apparently, from leaked files and just leaks in general... They have a ton of maps, weapons, and just everything. Like, literally, weapons are in the game, in DMZ, for example, and they're not usable in any other mode, which is just ridiculous to me. The grenade launcher in DMZ, you can't use that anywhere else, only in Building 21 in Almazra. So it's just little things like that I think they need to just push out and expand upon for Season 2. 
just to keep us all satisfied and have us with stuff to do in the game because season one they only brought a couple weapons in like two maps in the whole season and that's for two months we had to wait for this season two update so obviously you guys can see the issue with that this is one of the biggest gaming companies if not the biggest in the whole entire world they're activision and blizzard are huge they're among the top three in all of gaming for the companies they're worth billions of dollars billions and little things like this it's just they lack basic things that we need in gaming like we can't be satisfied with a live service game that gives us two maps and like three weapons in what two and a half months that's ridiculous we paid 70 dollars for this in multiplayer at least dmz and warzone have definitely been getting a lot of love and that's great that's great i'm not taking anything away from that it's just multiplayer is where this all was born, and we need to treat it as equal. All these modes need to be equal just to get the best product for everybody in general. Because some people like MP, some people like Warzone, and that's specific to each person. But I feel like we shouldn't be left out because we like something. But hey guys, for the finale, like, season 2 is coming. I'm very excited for this update. We still got, what, two and a half weeks left until we get it, which is obviously a pain. I really hate waiting for these things because we're in a drought, like I said, obviously. Season 1 has just been dreadful, to be honest. Not much to do at all in this game right now. But hopefully this update can just reintroduce a lot of people and reignite their spark for this game, I'd say. Because a lot of, more than 50% of the Warzone player base is gone, for example. MP, I could imagine it's way worse because what is there to do in MP right now? It's very lackluster and boring on the content side. And I know they're definitely going to be prioritizing Warzone over DMZ and multiplayer even. I know that. That's obvious. Like We, we just know that's going to come because Warzone's their golden child. But hopefully we can just get changes all around that, improve the game for everyone, and just make this game amazing again like it used to be. But hey guys, in my final words, I'm just going to say I want a new look on Call of Duty and a new look on this game. And just reignite my spark and love I have for this game, obviously, because I've been here for years and years and years of my life playing these video games and having fun and hating it and loving it. It's just... It's a mixed bag for me. But guys, that's where I'm going to cut off the video. I'd love to know your opinions on what you think is going to happen. If this is going to really save this game, because that's what this whole update comes down to. Season 2 is about saving this game and reigniting the spark we all have for it. But overall, guys, I hope you definitely enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more content. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.